Okay, I'm going to show you how to use uh, an app called Photop, which you can search for online. It's free and it is very much like Photoshop. So you have history toolbar layers, uh, you've got tools along here and we can talk about the tools another time. Um, I'm going to open a picture from my computer so I can either open from computer or I could go to file open just like you would in any app that you would use. So, so I can see my pictures, I can click on large icons. There it is. So the first thing I want to do is I would like to remove the background so it's only me left and nothing else behind. So I'm going to click the rectangle select and I don't even need to um, select around my photo. I'm just going to click right click and click magic cut. It takes a little while to think about loading so you just have to be patient with it. Um, but the background removal tool is very much like the one that you would find on um, PowerPoint when you add an image in. You can move, so you can zoom in and you can move the right hand picture around to get a closer look at the left hand picture. So I can see here, I've got some bits of my hand that I would like to fill back in. So I'm gonna just a little bit more. It's quite sensitive. So the green um, is what you want kept. The grey is if you make a mistake you need to delete something and the red is where you mask things that you would like to remove. So I'm going to start on green and I'm going to change my brush size to a bit smaller and I am going to do a little bit more and carefully just start drawing a line where I want the image to be brought back in. And you can see that also brought back in some of the background. So now I've got to remove that. <clears throat> and the uh, app does not like it if the red and the green overlap because it's giving them mixed messages. So you need to be quite careful when you're doing that. So firstly, I'm just drawing a line. It's taking a little bit of time being quite slow at the moment. And I'll make my brush a bit bigger to get this bit away. Easy does it. Okay. And you can see I just need to bring a little bit more green back in just on my little finger. It's too small. That's about right. So I'm going to bring this down here. So I'm very close to touching that red there. You can see it says they should never touch, erase it with grey. So I'm just going to do that. And that seems to be happier again now. So I can go back to my red and carefully make sure that my red and green are not touching. Oh. Okay, so it's it's all about um, just playing about with your brush size, playing and swapping between the uh, red and the green tool and getting the picture to the point that you are happy with what you've got. So move this area. So I can zoom out again 
and that's not perfect by any means but it's going to be so far off in the background that you can't really notice any of the lumpy bumpy bits now so it's not a major problem if I was doing this for a magazine or a website obviously I'd be being a lot more careful I'm going to stop there and uh, carry on without you watching